Hello and welcome to CY Entertainment Tonight. My name is Paola Palacios and we have John Battle with us today. Hello. So John, you're a model, right? Yes, ma'am. You've been modeling for three years. Three, two and a half. Two and a half. Going on three years, yes. Okay. Yes. How do you, how's that? It's, How do it's, I like it's it? going, it's going very great for me. Very, very great. Um, I've stuck to modeling consistently since my dad passed away two and a half years ago and I feel like me doing modeling now is something that he can look down on and be proud of, even though there's other things that I do that he can be very proud of as well. Okay. I'm a family man. Love my family. Um, love the passion for clothes and fashion. Uh, yeah, I like to do swimwear, okay. fitness. Yeah. Um, Artistic modeling. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. And um, you did tell me that... Um, you do like to, you would love to be in reality shows. Is there a reality, reason why yeah. a reality show instead of like of acting and all yeah, that? It's something, I, want, I don't, I don't want to say acting because I like to be myself. So okay. when I say reality shows, I would like to be on television and be myself. And another thing is like, I want to say gaming shows. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very in shape. You know, I train a lot. My physique is, you know, kind of, there so I feel like I can strong man and like I was once asked to be in a Spartan competition but I didn't follow through with it so that was kind of like a bummer but I wanted to so okay. it was for a cause one of my co-workers lost the son and she was doing it for her son so yeah I wanted to be a part of that but I couldn't be so it was fine and then you've been um modeling for the three years right now yeah but yeah. is there a reason why you were not modeling before I couldn't find focus, Okay. I want to say. Focus and a little bit of insecurities as well. Oh, really? Yeah, a model has insecurities? Yeah, because this is the thing. I was insecure only because of the weight. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up in high school, I wasn't always slim. You know, I was kind of a heavy set, chubby guy. That was, okay. that was me. So once I lost weight, I, I, I was foot in the door. That's how I felt. Once my foot was in the door, I was just, I'm ready for whatever. I'm open to trying new things and... Oh, You're ready to do the modeling yeah, and I'm, everything. I'm ready. So, and the two and a half, three years is going on that I've been doing it. It's it's been very successful for me, man. I can, yeah, it's been very successful. I'm proud of myself because I, everything that I do, I've bought for myself. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So, is anyone else modeling in your family? Mm, there is. Oh, okay. I was going to say no because I'm thinking instant family, my sister and me, my brother. Mm -hmm. But I have cousins who model, younger cousins, um, older cousins. I have older cousins that's into fashion and designing, clothing, oh, handbags. Oh, Yeah. So it's yeah. everything that's in the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, I have painters in my family, so They're yeah. artistic. Yeah. Nice. What's your favorite kind of modeling? My favorite kind of modeling, I would say swimsuit. Swimsuit. Yeah, swimsuit or fitness. Okay. Because I feel like that's kind of me. In the gym, I'm kind of like a, you know, like a kid at the playground all over again. So fitness is my thing. Swimsuit, I love to swim. So anything dealing with water, like I said, me being halfway nude, is cool with me. So. And it's um, you also do catwalks, right? You're like yes, walking yes. for I've different did, designers. Yes, yes. I did plenty of runway shows now this is the thing when i started to model and stick to it consistently i wasn't into runway oh okay yeah but i spoke with an agency that wanted to sign me and you know they opened my mind to like being open to more things and just trying new things just to see if that's something that i want to do with my career modeling okay so and runway it's been a success for me as well too because i was one of the ones that i thought i wasn't tall enough you know I felt like the runway, once I see the cameras and the crowd and the people at the end, I get nervous and like trip up or something. But it's like once I hit the runway, it's, I'm a totally different person. It's lights, camera, action, go, you know. And just yeah. <laughs> and for, if you would have to choose um, walking on the runway forever mm -hmm. or just doing only print modeling, what would it be? Hmm. I would say both, both is, I both would are fun. say yeah they both are fun but 
I would say walking on the runway because Ooh. you kind of get both out of that. You can get photos from the runway as well as runway experience. And then you work like with the designer, like you know what you're going to wear and everything. Exactly. Do you exactly. ever get to keep your, the clothes that you model? Um, there was one photo shoot I did in Philadelphia before mm -hmm. for um, the designer. His name is Desaad by Rashad. Okay. Um, I did a mass shoot for him and I kept the shirt and the mask and that was that was the only thing I've ever kept from a fashion show before so I'm not really you know greedy and looking for give backs or handouts I'm just in it to be humble and try new things and get my name and my brand out there that's all well you mentioned that you did this in Philadelphia yes so and we know that John actually traveled to New York today from yes, DC all the way from DC to do this show yes. so Welcome to New York and no, thanks for having me man. Thanks for having me. Of course, we're happy to have you um, You so you go You travel for modeling then? Yes, I travel to Philadelphia I travel to Philadelphia kind of a lot, you know, Philadelphia, Baltimore Here, you know, and I'm willing to travel other places as well. I would say as far as 10 hour radius is as far as I'll ten go. 10 hour so, radius. Yeah, so I'll say so Atlanta yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'll drive there, but if I have the funds and it's time for me to go and I, they need me in LA or, you know, back here or anywhere, then I'm I'm here. Okay. I'm here. So you're like really passionate. I'm I'm passionate do. about modeling. I'm passionate about fashion. Mm -hmm. You know, I I feel like my look needs to be seen. Okay. That, yeah. So and and not only that, like I I grew up in a family with fashion and you know, art, and so I've been around it all my life. But like I said, growing up, I was insecure about it because I wasn't always as physique as I am now. So mm -hmm. now I'm, I'm in and welcome me, everybody. <laughs> so what do you do for your physique? Like, do you have a special eating routine, even eating habits, a workout routine? No, what do you I do? don't we have don't no special eating habits. I eat any and everything I want. Really? But I work out like an animal, man. Okay. When I work out, it's, I'm, I'm in there. I'm going hard. How many yeah. times a week? I would say, if I can, I would go five days a week. Okay. But I don't, due to my job. So I go Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, Wednesdays sometimes, and sometimes Saturdays and Sundays. But when I do, I have my days. Monday will be chest and legs. Wednesday will be, you know, abs and back, you know, little things like that. And then comes the weekend, I just go full blow. I just go in everything, for everything, everything. The weekend. Yeah. And, and I think went that the weekend down. is to a party, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, this is the thing. I no, do it before not. the party. Okay. Yeah, I do it before the party and no hangovers, none of that. So. For your shoots, uh, like in swimsuit and all that stuff, mm -hmm. I've heard that sometimes the models want to go ahead and, you know, do some push-ups before so you're a little bit bigger. Yeah. Do, do you do that as well? I've did it plenty of times before. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I've had the photographers These... even laugh at me like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, you know, it get, I'm trying to get pumped up a little bit. Get so a does little it work 50. or is it just rumors? It, it, it works. Okay. But it also works with the photographer's skills as well. Okay. So. so it's both. It works. Shall a little I say? Bit yeah, <laughs> yeah, it works. It, it gives you that extra, you know, you feel more toned and, you know, you can pose for the camera now, you know, so. <laughs> You're like more into it. Yeah, yeah. More like into the feeling. Mm -hmm. And so you mentioned that you do, you, do you do a little bit of acting as well, right? I haven't done any acting yet. Not yet, okay. But I'm interested in doing acting. Okay, so you're yeah, gonna get I'm into all that stuff. I'm interested in doing acting, yes. And while we're on the topic of that, I've actually, I'm actually waiting for an email mm -hmm. from a producer in Los Angeles for oh. a commercial. So, you know, that's very, that's yeah, very exciting. It, it will be my first acting gig. So, you know. So you you haven't been like on camera, but you've taken classes or. I haven't you've... been on camera. You have I it naturally taken, then? No, no. That's what you want to do then. Yeah, that is kind of you know I feel like. My personality, it's, it's humbling, you know, I'm very welcoming, I'm a nice guy, you know, and I can be fun at times as well, and, you know, I just feel like people should see that, man, and, you know. <laughs> you can be yourself, yes, completely. Yes, yes, I, I exactly. think everybody should be their self, you know. Um, for, you, you model for suits as well. Suits. Mm -hmm. 
I've done suits, fur coats, um, like I said, the mask line. Um, I have a relative in Atlanta. Uh, she has her own line. She does fitness clothes, kind of oh, like urban. Oh, that then. It's, it's, it's a sense of fashion with simplicity. Okay. You, yeah, so, yeah, I've, I've done, and um, the fashion shows that I've done, out of all of the fashion shows that I've done, I would say the only two, well, the main two that stuck with me would be one that I did as a cure for cancer. Mm -hmm. And I just recently did one for a designer you all have here named Mark Kaufman. Yes, for, of course. For, for the fur coats, yeah. That was for a sex trafficking fashion show. For It was for the fun, it was a fundraiser, I'm sorry, fundraiser for sex trafficking kids. Okay. To, you know, build them a safe house and when they finally decide to come back or escape from wherever, they can have somewhere safe to stay. So that was, that was, I want to say the fur coat, the, the sex trafficking fashion show, I think that was my favorite because it was for a great cause. And exactly. it was something that I'd supported fully, so. And the one I did for the cancer show, that was kind of, it stuck with me because of my dad. My dad passed from prostate cancer. So once I did that show, I kind of felt like a weight was lifted off me, actually. You know, because doing this, I always go into fashion shows and photo shoots nervous. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. It's because I want to be on my A game. You know what I'm saying? But after nice. that show, it was like, you know, everything just... It's like, okay, you got it. Just go in and, you know, just be yourself. And, you know, if they like you, they like you. If they don't, they don't. Exactly. You, know, you can't, can't do nothing but keep living and keep moving. That's it. That's true. Is there a special, like, a photo shoot that you loved? What's your favorite photo shoot that you've done? Mm. And who shot it? It would be in Philadelphia. Okay. I had it at the uh, Graffiti Pier. And the photographer was Derek Dean. Derek okay. Dean Photography. He's based out of Philadelphia, I believe. And you so traveled for this as well. I traveled for that one as well, too. And that I want to say that one was fun because, again, I was shirtless. We were outside. Uh, I got to, you know, clamp trees and, you know, hang on the rock walls. And, you know, oh, it nice. was kind of like an adventurous type of lost in the tunnel type of scenery so it that 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 shoot was awesome i, I love that shoot. i actually twist my knee from Doing that it. shoot yes really because he wanted to get a shot of me jumping off a cliff what down how, how on, big was it it wasn't that tall but okay. i had on boots and they were heavy for me coming down Mm -hmm. I guess I landed the wrong way. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't. But after that day, you were fine? Yeah, I was fine after two days oh after that. Oh, two days? Yeah, two days after that, I was well, fine. Well, I mean, the pictures probably came out great then. Yeah, the pictures came so out fantastic, all worth it. man. Yeah, so I told him, you know, things happen. You get exactly. a little bumps and bruises, but it is what it is. You got to do whatever it takes in. Put the to hard get work the in. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. That's nice. That's nice. Um, would you ever consider, like, doing any fashion designer or anything that now that you're telling me that all your family is in the art industry or meaning or would maybe? I design anything yeah like because you're always mm. around the fashion you know you, you, you you're love right it. you're right you're right I don't I wouldn't say that I I wouldn't or I'm not interested in doing so because mm -hmm. it's something that I would take interest in but I just wouldn't know where to start you know what I'm saying but okay. I been so I have family in it they can help me but this day and age and, you know, the generation is kind of like what to do. You know, everything's out. You just got to go off the wall and, you know. You do, yeah. But and it changes all the time with the fast fashion. Exactly. exactly. And I try to keep up with it. So, <laughs> so yeah, the, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't deny, you know, becoming a fashion designer. But as of right now, I'm not really looking into it. I just want to wear whatever they have. You want to be on front of the camera. I want to be in right? front of the camera representing someone's brand, you know, making their brand look good. Okay. And that's your passion. That's my passion. That's what I love. I love to look nice, mm -hmm. take pictures, you know, make people smile. That, that's kind of what I like doing. <laughs> Is it something that you've always wanted to do? Like it's something that I've always wanted to do, yes. Ever since a kid. 
Everyone oh. always told me, you know, you're so photogenic, you know, you're so photogenic. You should model. And as I grew up, it stuck with me. It, it, it stuck. And I was like, okay, everybody keeps saying this. Then I'll meet <laughs> certain people and they like, you know, do you model? Do you model? I'm like, no. Something finally told me, okay, you know, let's do something about your weight. I started to play football. I boxed for a while. I was on a swimming team and I was a lifeguard for a while. So that kind of took everything down. Once that went down, I hit the gym. Once I hit the gym, I was like, okay, I think I'm ready to do this modeling thing now. So my first photo shoot, I was, I was a nervous wreck, man. I was, I was so nervous. I went alone, you know, and, you know, doing something for the first time, going alone. Was it in a studio? It was in someone's home, but it was a studio, you know, lower level. It okay. was a studio on a lower level, but, you know, being out here on my own, trying something new, something that I'm doing for the first time, I went and found the photographer myself, and, you know, I paid the guy myself. So now I went in, I wouldn't say on the edge, but my antennas was definitely up. They were definitely up, and that photo shoot kind of came out okay, but, you know, it's a start. Yeah. So any, any, anything after that is, is a step up. So that's, that's, what I, that's what I'll say it was for me. Have you shot with this photographer again? No, I haven't shot with him again. And it's not because I didn't like the work. It's just because, you know, I found other photographers that were interested in me and, you know, interested in my image and my look and wanted to shoot me. You know, I went and searched for him mm -hmm. and I found him. So it, it's not anything towards him, you know. No bad blood between us or anything like that. I just, you know, I, I would shoot with him again, but I haven't shot you haven't, with him You again. haven't had yeah. the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, and one reason has been I'm kind of busy with the modeling thing all the time. I do everything on my own, like I said, even though I forgot to mention to you, I just recently signed with the agency. Oh, okay. I prefer not to say the name, mm -hmm. but they're based in North Carolina as well. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so... So your first for, first shoe was in North Carolina? No, I haven't done anything with them yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so, you know, I'm just playing the backfield, being a model in the agency, just waiting for, you know, waiting for them to come to me with ideas and photo shoot offers and gigs and things like that. So, but aside from that, everything else I kind of do on my own. Okay. Yeah, I kind of I find freelancing. fashion shows. Uh, I go to auditions, rehearsals, model calls, anything where they say we're looking for male models. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be there. You're always there. I'm trying to be there. Yes. So yeah, you're like managing yourself right now. Okay. Yeah, kind of, yeah. sorta. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is your um, agency contract is it non-exclusive, exclusive? It's non-exclusive. Non-exclusive. Yeah, it's so you're, non he's I'm, able to do whatever yeah, I'm he able wants. to do whatever I want, yes. Okay. It's nice. Mm -hmm. How long ago did you sign up with the agency? I want to say probably, I want to say three or four months ago. Oh, yeah. so it's very recent. Yeah, it's very recent. Yeah, it's like three or four months ago, so. How did they find you? Instagram. Instagram. And I, I want to say that hashtags work. Because <laughs> I think it was do, from the ha I think it was from the hashtag. I'm not sure, but when I first started modeling, I was recommended to make a model page because mm -hmm. I have a you of know course. everybody have a personal page first before they start modeling. I was recommended to make a personal page. Then I was recommended to use hashtags because I know that's how people in different states can view your photos. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the ways I think that they found me, but you know, they found me, they emailed me, you know, told me. And this, I knew it was legit because they didn't go through my DMs, they went through my e emails. Exactly. You know? So that's how I always can tell, you know, okay, this might be a little janky or, you know, they seem like, you know, they're very professional on top of their game. And when they emailed me, I Googled them to see what they were about went to their Instagram page to see what they were about. Everything was, was legit. So, you know, I, I went forth with it. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. yes. What's your future of modeling look like, looking like? Like in five years, where do you see yourself? Hmm. Five years, where do I see myself? Yes. Let's see. Five years, I see myself <laughs> someone's billboard. Oh, nice. Someone's billboard, man. Okay. It can be suit and tie, you know. It can be underwear, swimwear, 
anything. But I just, in five years, I want to be known and established as JB the model mm -hmm. for doing X, Y, and Z. Okay. Yeah. You're going to have your own brand, just. Yes. Yes. John Battle. <laughs> so, John, you have a, an Instagram, right, that you want people to follow you on? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My Instagram is JB underscore the model. That's JB underscore T H E model. You can also see his biography on cyfs.webs.com and you can see everything about him, like where he's willing to travel and everything. If you guys are willing to talk to him. Let's hope they're willing to talk to me, right? I yes, hope so, exactly. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so would you like would you like um, to do any other thing than just straight up modeling because I know that you mentioned that you wanted to do the the reality shows like is like is there a specific reality show that you like right now it's um let's see love and hip-hop is my favorite I'm yeah I'm just gonna keep it real um love and hip-hop is my favorite I want to say New York Atlanta I'm not really into the LA one yet but I like those shows I like a lot of game shows where you got to compete for prizes or you know you got to compete to get to the top but I like I, w I don't I want I don't want to say that I like competition but I like to compete I like to get down and dirty and you know do, like I said the Spartan competitions and mm -hmm. things like that so I'm interested in things like that I wouldn't say dating show even <laughs> though I am single but <laughs> ladies yes yes ma'am but uh I wouldn't turn it down. I wouldn't turn it down at all. It would be a heck of an experience, I would think. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Well, anything else that you would like to, for the viewers to know? Um, I pretty much think we wrapped it up. What you think? Yeah, I think we did. Well, thank you so much for coming all the way from Washington, D.C. Yes, to New York to do this interview. Thanks I would really, for really me. appreciate it, no John. No problem, and no problem. There you have it. John Battle. All right. <laughs>